Hello, I'm Flavio Marques. I'm a product line manager for data center and enterprise connectivity in Furukawa Electric Latin, a, a, a company of Furukawa Electric Japan. And I'm going to present you some uh, research and some uh, developments that we are working on uh, in order to support the infrastructure for a future, uh, future uh, technologies that are coming with uh, COBOL. And I'll start showing you that the first thing that we used to do is to evaluate and see how the topologies will make difference and how the impact of uh, all the uh, different form factors impact on the uh, on the optical connections. We're talking about COBOL, but also we need whatever you're using a pluggable or a co-package optics, you need to connect them using a cabling system. So here we in Furukawa Electric Latin, we develop all the connection and all the, the cabling system uh, for the group. Furukawa is involved in a lot of, uh, of uh, optical technology, including lasers and special photonics and special fibers. But here, what we do is to take a look at every application, take a look at every topology possible and see if the cabling is flexible enough to support this application that are uh, that there are uh, available today or the technology that are coming. So these are some examples of different form factors, different connectors and different application that can be used on a traditional or a future cabling system that is modular, that is flexible and it's able to support uh, changes in a very short time. Um, what's the next, uh, the, next dev the next challenge for us is the migration from a traditional pluggable optics to a co-package optics or something that is will be represented not only by a cage to introduce um, uh, a pluggable optics or transceiver, but only a connection that will be able to perform the connection straight to the board, optical straight to the board, or, or even straight to the to the processor, or or, or to the uh, uh, to the board. Uh, what we are looking for is that what is the future of this connection? This will be MPO16, will be uh, the next generation of very small form factor connections. Um, what we are developing in our laboratories is different, is different topologies, different connectors, and see how it goes in terms of performance, in terms of attenuation, in terms of flexibility. Um, in the other, in the other hand, we, uh, uh, in our laboratory, we are uh, working on uh, real tests for real applications. This is an example of our 400G uh, test in a real environment. And when I say real environment, it means that it's not a desk test, but it's a, a real data center environment, including temperature, including raceway, including racks, everything that you have in your data center, in your data center, and the tests of bit error height, so it's the limit for the uh, physical uh, for the physical uh, level or the physical uh, layer. Um, the real test for 400G was the last one. It's the top of the technology on the internet, and we now in IEEE are working on 800G and 1.6 terabits per second. So uh, uh, we have access to the very first uh, alpha uh, alpha. Uh, products from from vendors and um, as soon as we have some alpha we use to make this test on Furukawa and our labs uh, down here in, in, in Curitiba uh, where we develop all the cabling systems so uh, we believe that uh, the uh, the optical in the data center will have a very good way ahead so we are working on 1.6 terabits, that's unbelievable speed from years years ago. Uh, and now we are very excited to support this effort on have all the fiber to uh, the processor, close to the processor, close to the board, uh, helping COBOL to develop these technologies. If you want more information, please visit FurukawaLatin.com and see the latest development on optical technologies that we offer to our customers. Thank you for your time and see you soon.